This is Lisa. Lisa is a real Berlin resident. She wears her heart on her sleeve. And this is Yamato. Yamato comes from Tokyo. It is his first time in Europe and he has not been long in Berlin. Lisa and Yamato recently got to know each other in Berlin. The two met by chance at the Brandenburg Gate. Yamato wants to explore the city. He greets Lisa with a short bow. Lisa, however, is completely beside herself. She is annoyed about a bus driver who did not wait for her. She had waved him down, so he must have seen her. Lisa is furious, ranting in the open street. Man, what a load of crap! Yamato is irritated. Lisa will no longer be able to say goodbye to her little sister Hannah, who is flying to America today for an exchange year. She gets so irritated that tears come to her eyes. She looks at Yamato, who seems to laugh. Lisa is surprised. As it is too late anyway, she suggests going to Café Fear, which is just around the corner. Yamato politely declines. It is a shame, thinks Lisa. However, Yamato probably has other plans. This guy would like to go to a café with Lisa, but has no alternative. Embarrassed silence. Lisa and Yamato, of course, know that their cultures are different from one another. Much was apparent to them right away. Nevertheless, some things seem puzzling to them. They have a suspicion. Something is hidden and yet has a strong effect. How can this phenomenon be described? The iceberg model of culture. What do we actually understand by the term culture? The term can be easily explained with a metaphor. Human culture is the same as an iceberg. There is a visible and also an audible part which we can easily recognize. That is the language. Yamato learned German as a foreign language. And the appearance and behaviors are also part of this. For example, Yamato uses a bow as a greeting. We can usually easily recognize these cultural specificities. They are visible. What is astonishing, however, is that the much larger part of culture initially remains invisible, like an iceberg. What exactly is hidden beneath the surface? Norms of human interaction. These include expectations regarding the handling of emotions, private and public. Lisa shows strong emotions in the described situation. For Yamato, who is from Japan, that seems very strange. He even tries to laugh away what for him is an embarrassing situation. Lisa, in turn, cannot understand this. An irritation for both sides. Believe. What do people believe in? And how important is belief to them? In Japanese culture, the German number fear has a very negative connotation as the word sounds very similar to the word for death. Yamato understands the German number fear instead of the English word fear and therefore reacts negatively. A misunderstanding. There are many other cultural aspects that lie hidden. For example, values, ideals, traditions, experiences and role models. These cultural specificities are often not recognizable at first glance. They remain invisible. Isn't that amazing? A large part of culture remains hidden from us when we look at it superficially. Ignorance can easily lead to unexpected collisions and to intercultural conflicts. We offend because we naturally take our culture to be the correct one. So the big cultural area that lies beneath the surface is treacherous. Sensitivity to hidden cultural differences is a first step towards successful communication. That means being attentive, curious and empathetic. And what can we do specifically? Inform ourselves in advance, ask questions and clear up irritations. Whoever deals carefully with foreign cultures sails more safely. Oh, 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 oh